then welcome back to the Royal Library, which, you know, you'd have thought a university town might actually be in the town, not in the barren wilderness. Ooh, hello. Right then, Eric, time to shine. Wait, did I get that ability? I think I did, didn't I? Okay, I'm not going to kill the other one. Because I... Th yeah, the hat hamwich. Hamwich. So I don't... I think that'll make this one run away. Right. Metal slash, right? Ooh, two. All right. Uh... Try it, try it. Nuts. Okay, and here you can go for a... Maybe a... Maybe a crackle. All oh, right, magic, no good, huh? All right, that's good, that's good. Keep attacking us, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Attack it. Nice. Ah, come on. That's good. That's good. Let's do that way. Okay, we're okay. Couple more, I think. Oh, Veronica, you can do it again. That's. Gotcha. Woohoohoo, okay. Alright, what do we get for the liquid ones? <laughs> 10,000. Oh, brilliant. I think that's going to be levels... Just one level up? Just for me? Uh, for, wait, who even got that? Uh, was it... Was it Jade? Nuts. Okay, so maybe it wasn't that great. Uh, right, so what are we dealing with here? These guys are kind of sleeping over there, aren't they? Statue here... This guy's awake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he's awake. Uh, okay. Right, should have healed up. Might be able to do this. There he goes. Okay, not much, not too much trouble. Okay, Silvando, good. And Rab. All right, let's heal up now. There we go. Uh, there's a slime over here. I wonder if we talk to this one. So, what's going on over here? Yeah, cool. Go on then. Oh. Okay. I first got to press this big uh, green button. Okay. Well, why don't we have a little look around what's open already, like this. Before we go pressing switches. 4,000? Okay, how are we doing? We're doing alright for money. There's that. Why is this guy. Oh, there's a book behind him. Alright, fine. Let's 
heat things up! Easy peasy. Okay, took care of that guy. The Great Guardian of the Hexwood. Hmm. Ancient legends tell of a mighty and mysterious beast that lives deep within the heart of the Hexwood, a frozen forest in the Snarefelt Steppe. Many generations ago, the people of Sniffleheim worshipped this creature as their guardian spirit and would offer up their thanks for the bounteous, bounteous blessings they believed it bestowed upon them. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling we're going to be killing that? Okay, there's one over there. That's a switch. But is there another book over here? I think there is. So why don't we go read that first? I'll just uh, take care of this guy. Okay, took care of that guy. So what's this one say? Oh. Ye Wizard's Canticle, Book 1, on the faded threadbare cover. Oh. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to have to try and figure out a way to remember that there's a book in the library. Alright, let's push the button. Never switch it blink into life. Okay, I am enjoying this place already. I want to go over this way, don't we? So let's just go right ahead and push this one. I don't think there's any others down here. Oh, maybe there are. Let's start with this one anyway. Okay, so that's opened. Seems to be trying to lead us that way, doesn't it? So let's have a look around again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's screw off. Can we still get out. Anything else opened up? So that's locked off now. Hop! Oh, yeah, can't get me over here, can you? But nothing new back there. Okay. Look at that guy. He's hopping mad. since uh, back when we fought Jarvis. In the, ooh, very nice, Eric. Uh, back in the King's Barrow. <laughs> yeah, you should be scared. Because it's uh, not going to end well for you. There we go. Easy enough. Yeah, you did pretty oh, good. Oh yeah. Ten. Is that enough to get you closer to Jewel Warden? I just keep getting better. Yeah, let's have a look at Eric. Uh, we need knives. Yes, it is. Okay. Cool. So we just need. Okay, need to get sixteen. Um, gonna be dual wielding, and that is gonna be devastating. I think. Oh, a thief's turban. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Come down there, you crazy hat. That's a new guy over there. Probably, hmm. Well, could go. Oh, there's a book over there. Why don't we go there first? Ah, the Wizard's Canticle Book 2. Okay, can't read that one either. Right then, 
What's this guy up to all about then? Rectors. <laughs> okay. A couple of physical attacks might even do this. Honk. Wonderful. Yeah, that was pretty good. All right, good job, team. What do we got here? Urn of Saints' Ashes. Uh, that cleans off curses. Okay, nice. Let's just sort that a bit. Yeah, got a fair few seeds going on. I will consider using those. Soonish. Soonish. Okay, so that way is off. We can't go up that way so far. So let's go up here and I assume we'll have another switch somewhere. There's a book. There's a switch. Anything tucked over here? Yeah, okay, so let's read this book. If we can. The Worst Curse. My story starts innocently enough. I was walking through the forest one day when I came across a legged man. Uh, okay. It hadn't seen me, so overcome with curiosity, I decided to sneak up and take a peek inside its robes. It noticed immediately and flew into a rage. How dare you embarrass me like that, Pello? You'll soon know how you, uh, you'll soon know how you like it, and with that, it stormed off. Ever since that day, my life has been one embarrassment after another. There's not a doubt in my mind that this is the work of the legged man. Uh, and the terrible curse it placed upon me. When I start my prayers at chapel, I suddenly need the lavatory. If I try to talk to a lady, I become so distracted that I forget what to say, and in combat, I'm struck dumb with thoughts of previous failures. Mark my words, dear reader, this is the most embarrassing curse in all uh, Drea. It's called, uh, call it Shypox. Alas, even my powers of imagination have been rendered cringe-inducingly weak by it. And now, even as I write this, I realise my britches have been unfastened this whole time. Truly, this curse is a force to be reckoned with. Well, that was one of the uh, draconian things we could have uh, selected at the beginning of the game, isn't it? Isn't that shy pox? Ah, okay. So we've got... That didn't spin anything around, did it? Yeah, it's still closed over there. Uh, <laughs> are we uh, are we interrupting something here? Is he <laughs> actually teaching them? Okay, don't mind me. Oh, nice! Favorite fashions of the Master of Magic: witches' hats, witches' robes, wizards' robes. Okay. Uh, excuse me, I just need to. Speak to teacher. <laughs> Professorus. It, oh. Right, teach knows some stuff. Hey. Uh, your pet pals, uh, they're still hanging on for a little bit. Uh, let's go for a crackle at, uh, crack. Crack. Oh wait, don't I have, like, Dragon Slash or something with, uh... Eric? Probably should use that, huh? Donk! Let's try this. Oi! Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Did I do all right? Yes, Veronica, you did fine. Stop milking it. Okay, so... Mom, mom, this way is the shorter route. I'd wager it's blocked off. Anything over there? Not by the looks of it, okay. Oh yeah. Alright, so we can go up that way. Okay, can't read that one either. Okay, we're well, gonna have to learn something new at some point, aren't we? Uh excuse me. Applied Ring Theory, Aging Yggdrasil. 
Cut down a tree and upon the exposed stump you will see a pattern of rings, the number of which will equal the number of years the tree has lived. But what of Yggdrasil? Were we to fell the greatest and most ancient of trees, would we see such rings, and how many might there be? Just how many years has the world tree been up there, watching over us all? I suspect that the existence of our arborescent guardian predates that of... Uh, arborescent guardian, sorry. Uh, predates that of even Erdrea itself, that its history stretches back further than mere human minds are capable of comprehending. I wonder if that... Uh, do you think that could have been written by the Darkspawn? That's all he's really interested in is... Uh, trees. Are you up to anything over here? Oh cool, an anthology of elemental earrings. Uh, asbestos earrings, antifreeze earrings, rubber earrings, air aerofoil earrings, concrete earrings, mirror earrings, and lots and lots of earrings. Thanks Teach. Alright, so where's my, uh, where's that button? It was over here, wasn't it? Coming through. Wait, wasn't it? Did I miss it? Oh, it's through here. Oh no, we can just go upstairs. Right, right, right. Okay. I see you up there. Hey, man. Ugh. Another one bites the. Yep, he got me. He got me. Oh. Easy. Easy. Uh oh. Whack. What? Uh, this is bad. This is very bad. We're going to use an Yggdrasil uh, leaf here on uh, me. Okay, you've got uh, Zing, haven't you? Almighty Yggdrasil. Get up, Veronica. Get up, Veronica. Damn it. Again? What? Oh, phew. Let's just start doing some damage here. Can we try that again, Serena? There we go. Okay, die. Bloody hell. Please don't kill her. Please don't kill her. Mm. All right, Serena, on your feet. Boom, I think. Yes. Nearly there. There we go, got it. Cool. See the skill for all that. Okay, so where do we want to be going here? Looks so like we go all the way around the floor. Statues getting in on the lesson, that's cool. Let's go all the way around, see what we can find first. Curios of the Lost Kingdom. Many hundreds of years ago, before the kingdom that stood on the site of now what was reduced to ruins, its wizards created some of the most advanced magical devices our world has ever seen. 
The nation's chancellor, in his loyal devotion to king and country, invested greatly in the development and distribution of vast numbers of these art, many of which have survived to this day. Among them, perhaps most commonly encountered nowadays, are the magic doors that protect vaults and strong rooms the world over, which can only be opened with the fabled magic key. Imagine the bankers and quartermasters' dismay when now what fell and the chancellor disappeared forever, along with the key they so desperately needed. Well, about that. There is another key out there somewhere, I think. And that can take us into the middle. I'm not sure we want to go there yet. I wonder if there's, like, somewhere we could drop down to that we couldn't access before. I think there is, you know. A bit directly below us we couldn't access. But when we put hit that uh, that in the middle there, that might move it around so we can. So let's just continue on for now. Is this going to be another flipping mim mimic? No. Phew. Okay. Mercury's bandana. Uh, okay. There's a bit of an agility boost. Mm, okay, well, I think we'll stick with what we got for now. And again, we've been down there, right? Or have we? Very interesting. Now, where did we come up? We came up over here, didn't we? Are there any books over here? Not that I can see. Okay, let's go press this in the middle. See what sort of relations we get. Confusing now. Right, so that's where we came up, wasn't it? So we read that. The floor here didn't really move, but downstairs did. Can we? Oh, you can't even drop off there. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, well, stay away from me. Okay, so that was no good. So we need to go to the other side. That's easy enough. red arrow did I get then? Is there someone down there? Oh, there's a guy down there, okay. Justaniad Secrets of Ye firm Firmament. Okay. Not yet. Can't do anything there, so I think we're going to have to press this already, aren't we? Okay, is that where we're trying to get to? In the middle there. Go downstairs, or is this closed off now? Yes, it is. Okay. So not too many branching paths, which I'm a little bit grateful for. We want to be getting over there, essentially. That's an opens chest. So surely we've been here. I just want to check what this is. Wait. Huh. Storm from the North. We haven't read this, have we? Immediately identifiable by their fierce and blood curdling war cry, the vicious Vikings are known to many as the Terror of the Northern Seas. 
They are known for their love of pillage and plunder and the stories tell of their sailing up and down Edrea's northern coastlines bringing chaos and ruin to every town and village in their wake. But such bloodthirsty raiders comp comprise only a small part of the Viking population. The majority of this hardy people are honest men and women, traders of considerable competence. Should you ever happen to encounter a member of this intriguing tribe, be sure to greet them with a warm smile and a full goblet. Do so and you shall have a stalwart ally for life. Good to know. Hmm. Oh, okay, I guess the back wall sort of moved around. So let's try this one too. Okay, so that's Canticle Book 2. Maybe I just missed that book when we got that chest. I got distracted. Can easily happen. The worst curse, yeah, okay, good, right. right so now if we, I think we want to go up again, don't we? Yeah, here we go, this is where we want to be. I guess getting into that middle is our end goal. Recipe book. Favorite fashions of the master. Oh yeah, we got that. One. Okay, we have got that. Good. Okay, guess we just needed to open this bit. Do you want to have a look over here, just in case? Applied ring theory. Yeah, we have looked at that. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so let's go see what's in the middle. Put our feet up by the fire. Similar statues to where we found the last orb near uh, uh, Warrior's Rest there. There's an ancient grimoire entitled Of Ye Forbidden Deed. Most forbidden, terrible power, times shattered, world shalt fall from ruin. Praise of fade and torn beyond legibility. Well, this is a problem, isn't it? Who's supposed to be sat there? It's a tome of spirits and ye plain beyond. The tome concerneth realm all but invisible, however within dwelleth spirits or sprites, faint yet mayhap even time itself. It's a very, very old book of ye first age. Long, long ago, age of, gathered together. Lo, ye forgotten, and people lost a time. Mm. So I wonder if we're here a little prematurely. Oh, got one of these. I would wager this will take us down. Pathway back to the entrance hall has opened. Jolly good. I hope it's still there when we uh, need to come back in the future. So where is this path and how do I get on it? Down is good. Okay, so we need to go this way. I assume we've been here, right? Yeah. Oh. Can we read you? Ah, Sibyls, Sorceresses and Sundry Seers, a compendium. Chapter 6. The witch who sought eternal beauty long, long ago in a cold and desolate land far to the north, there was born a girl, um, wait. Okay, the chapter is called The Witch Who Sought Eternal Beauty. Long, long ago in a cold and desolate land far to the north, there was born a girl more beautiful than any other in all Adrea. But though she was fair, her heart was small and ugly, and she detested the very idea that another might even, that might ever be prettier than she. 
Her boundless self-regard meant that she could love only those who fawned over her. The girl soon realised that age would rob her of the one thing she held dear, and, fearing this more than anything else in the world, she turned to the dark, forbidden magic of witchcraft. Through the use of warped and wicked spells, she turned her blood to freezing water, colder even than ice, and though the cost was high, she gained what she sought, eternal beauty. But her soft pink skin turned a chilling shade of blue, and her breath was cursed, freezing solid in an instant anything it touched. They say that of the 99 men who followed her to the end of, the, of her dread, to sing songs of her beauty from uh, morning till night, not a single one escaped being turned to ice by her kiss, but nobody knows for sure. For of those 99 men, not a single one ever returned from the frozen forest of the Hexwood. Well, that's a little ominous. Maybe we should go see if we can introduce ourselves to a few of them. Here's what we came for. Ooh, molten globules. Okay. Well, okay, I suspect at some point there may be someone sat in that chair. Yeah. Someone wizened, I'm sure, who can maybe tell us how to read old books would be nice. Alrighty, so we're back outside in the snare felt. So next time we've just got this northern part to explore, then we're going to pop back into um, the Sniffleheim region just to do that little top bit over there, and then the uh, then after that we'll be back and heading into the Hexwood. So until next time, take it easy. <laughs>